Hello, algebra students. Mr. Lawrence here with a little recap video of Friday and Monday's lessons. Help you for the test on Wednesday. Good luck to all of you. Hopefully you're preparing. All right, simplifying rads. Well, first of all, I have the square root of 45. Remember, I want to find the largest perfect square factor of 45. Now, I know my perfect square factor is pretty good. And let's see, I could start at 64. No, that's too big. 49 is too big. I could start at 36. But 36 is not a factor of 45, so I'm going to go down to 25, not a factor of 45. 16, not a factor of 45. 9, 9 is a factor of 45. So I'm going to rewrite this, square root of 45, as the square root of 9 times the square root of 5. Square root of 9 is 3, square root of 5 is 5, and there you go. Bam. All right. Now, to do this one, I need perfect cube factors. Well, let me think here. Perfect cube. I know 6 cubed is 216. That's too big. Uh, 5 cubed is 125. Hey, wait a minute. I think that's a factor of 375. If I divide 375 by 125, I get 125 times 3, don't I? So I could think about the, rat, uh, the cubed root of 375 as the cubed root of 125 times the cubed root of 3. The cubed root of 125 is 5 times the cubed root of 3. There you go. Pretty simple stuff. All right, we've got a square root here. 200, ooh, I could think about 200 as 100 times 2, looking for the largest perfect square factor. So that's the square root of 100, the square root of 2, and that will get me 10 rad 2, or 10 times the square root of 2. All right. Now, by the way, why don't you try these two? Pause the video. When you're ready, unpause it and see my solutions. All right. A is a square root, so I'm thinking 36. I'm thinking that 70, rad 72 is the same as rad 36 times rad 2. Right? So that'll be 6 rad 2. And there you go. Okay, B. I need perfect cubes. I'm thinking 8. I'm thinking the cubed root of 8 times the cubed root of 7, which will give me, well, not 3, silly Mr. Lawrence, which will give me 2, cube root of 7 times the cube root of 7. There we go. Okay, now to convert from rad form like we did in class on Monday. Well, let me first convert 50x to the power of 1 half. That's going to be the square root of 50x. And then I'm going to think about that as the square root of 25 times 2x square root of 25 is 5 times the square root of 2x. And there you go. Pretty simple stuff. All right, this one here, a little more complicated. Change colors. Okay, I'm going to think about it as the cubed root of 40x squared, which is the cubed root of 40 times 40 times x squared. Well, I can think about 40 as 8 times 5. Why 8? Because 8 is a perfect cube. And this 40 is also 8 times 5. Right? Okay, so the cubed root of 8 is 2. Cubed root of that 8 is 2. So that will be 25x squared. And of course, the co lead coefficient there would be a 4. 4 times the cubed root of 25x squared. And there we go. 
Okay, how about this over here? Uh, well, I'm going to need the fourth root. Fourth root of 162x in a quantity to the third power. Or that would be the fourth root of 162 times 162 times 162 times x cubed. Right? Now I'm looking for a perfect cube factor there. And let me see here. Hmm, I'm not finding one. So let me get a, a fresh page here. Let me think about 162 and let me break him down looking for perfect cube factors. So I've got what? 1, 8, 27. 64, right, 125, I don't need to go any higher. Huh, I'm not seeing one. I wonder if I have a small error in this problem. But let me check, 162 divided by 27, yeah, I don't think that's going in evenly. Uh, 81, oh, oh, silly me. I don't need perfect cube factors, I need perfect fourth factors. No wonder I'm making a mistake. Okay, so let me do perfect fourth. This is going to get way easier now. Sorry about that. Okay, so 1 to the fourth is 1, 2 to the fourth is 16, 3 to the fourth is 81. What? 81. 81. This is 81 times 2. So this is going to break down nicely. So I'm going to think about this as... 81 times 2, and that's going to be 81 times 2, and that's going to be 81 times 2. So the fourth root of 81 is 3. The fourth root of that 81 is 3 times the fourth root of that 81, which is also 3. And that'll be the fourth root of 2 times 2 times 2 times x cubed, All right? So that'll be 3, 9, 27, fourth root of 8x cubed. And there you go. There it is. All right, I've got a couple practice ones for you to try. Again, pause the video and then go ahead and unpause it to see my solutions. Uh-oh, what did I just do? Perhaps I went down too far. There they are. Okay, here come my solutions. So, I'm going to need a cubed root of 16x squared. And so that'll be the cubed root of 16x, or 16 times 16 times x squared, and I'm going to think about 16 as 8 times 2. And if I take the cubed root of 8, I get 2. And this cubed root of 8 is 2, so therefore there's going to be a 4 out front. Hope you don't mind, I skipped a step there. And then I'm going to have 4 on the inside times x squared. Okay, over here on this one, I'm going to get the fourth root of 32x quantity cubed. And that's going to be the fourth root of 32 times 32 times 32 times x cubed. I can think about 32 as 16 times 2, 16 times 2, times 16 times 2. All right, the fourth root of 16 is 2. There's another 2 there. There's another 2 there. Therefore, this is going to be 8. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Times the fourth root of 2, 4, 8 x cubed. 
and there you go. All right, that's the video. Hopefully it helps you. Mr. Lawrence signing off. Have a good night, everybody.